Hey Scrappers, it's Tom from the iScrap app and today we want to go over some of the most commonly found copper wires that are going to be out there. We're going to start at the lower end and we're going to work our way up. This is a plug. It was probably cut off of a microwave or some other type of industrial application. Small pieces of brass on the end and over here you're going to have a low grade wire with very small pieces of copper inside. These are generally going to be uh, classified as a low grade number 2 or a low grade number 2 ICW or a computer wire all depending on how your local scrapyard uses them. The copper versus the rubber is about 20 to 30 percent versus 80 to percent or 70 percent plastics. Next up we have fire wire, commonly found both in homes and businesses. The fire wire has two pieces of copper inside, has a, a higher percentage between 55 and 62 percent copper with the balance being plastic. Make sure you separate this. Next up we have BX. Not only is there aluminum, there's also steel BX and many people will take these three wires from inside, they'll be able to pull them out, sell them as THHN. We know a lot of scrappers that will take them and strip them to be able to get bare bright, but you, one thing you always want to be able to use is your magnet. This piece is aluminum, it does not stick. Steel BX is always going to be worth less money and of course steel is going to weigh more than aluminum which means you're going to have heavier weight but a lower price. Next up, one of the more commonly found wires inside of homes is Romex. Inside of the Romex wires, there's generally three different lines. You have your two regulars, you have your ground. When this gets stripped, you'll have one piece of bare bright inside, and a lot of scrappers will either take these two pieces and sell them as THHN, or even strip them. These are generally 60 to 65% copper, with the balance being plastic. Next up, like we talked about with the Romex, or the BX is your THHN wires. Green is generally going to be your ground with the other three used to, to have all the power currents going through. These are going to be between 70 and 80 percent copper with the balance being plastic and almost always inside is number one bare bright copper wire. Next up, tin coated cable. You can see by the cut on the side that this is tin coated the tin coating is going to make it a number two and it's going to be worth less than your bare bright. This piece is about 80% copper and 20% plastic or a little less. If you always want to know how much copper you have, you can always take a small sample on a gram scale, weigh it before and after and take the plastic insulation off. Next up we have about an 80 to 85 percent copper inside it's going to be all bare bright sometimes on the side you'll see what size it is whether it's a one aught or a 200 mcm or a 250 here we have a one aught type thhn this is going to go for a higher price than this thhn is because there's going to be more copper percentage versus this one Next, it's just a better grade cable. This is going to be about an 85 to 88 percent copper base with the remainder being plastic. Most people will end up stripping this. You'll be able to know what it is by doing a cross cut and seeing the bare bright shining through the side. Last but not least, one of the rarest of items that we find coming into scrapyards with insulation is your 750 MCM. With a 90 to 93 percent copper recovery with the balance being plastic, these are one of the more commonly found items that are stripped. These are generally anywhere from a 400 to a 750 MCM. This one in particular is a 600. It's bare bright on the outside. Sometimes you'll see something like this with aluminum inside or a tin coating. Always strip it to be able to see what the classifications are. If you want to learn about more of these copper wires through iScrap, you can go right to our metals page at iScrapMap.com. Any other questions about insulated copper wire or any other type of copper or scrap, just let us know. But until next time, I'll scrap you later.